Now Notion has grew in popularity so much over the past few years. Honestly, I think it's one of the best tools in the market and I've been using it for so many years and have nothing but good things to say about it. I think one of the things that makes it great is that Notion is a system in which you can build so much within it. It's not designed to do one particular thing, but rather it's designed to give you the building blocks that you can use very simply to just build so many different things and the free plan is just amazing and if you're willing to pay it gets even better however one thing that a lot of people might be wondering is is notion actually secure to use and are businesses using it and how much security assurance do you have if you wanted to put confidential or personal information within notion of course we see a lot of creators use it to come up with ideas help with book writing manage their life and different kind of personal productivity type things which is fundamentally what i think the free tier is used for pretty much and I know a lot of students also use it for a lot of research and notes however could a business actually trust inputting confidential business data within Notion could they trust their trade secrets in Notion and other very confidential information could a hospital have patient data within Notion those are going to be the questions I'm going to be answering today for those of you who don't know me I'm a cyber security consultant and I make a lot of cyber tech content here on YouTube so I am in a position Position to assess Notion and take a look at them from the security perspective. And this is something that is part of my role as a cybersecurity consultant, and I do this for large organizations looking at the supply chain risk management, vendor assessments, service assessments, which is essentially looking at a company or looking at a particular product such as Notion and assessing their security and understanding if it is a safe system to in fact use. So I'm going to be putting my supply chain risk management hat on and taking a look at Notion. So to begin with, if we take a look at Notion's website, it's actually quite transparent and clear. Now, a lot of companies and products do not have this level of transparency in terms of what they do for security. So as you scroll down, you can see it addresses different areas within security. And there's another page here, which dives a little bit deeper, which we'll be looking at in a minute. But primarily, the first thing I tend to look for when looking at a company is their compliance. What kind of audits, what kind of assurance what kind of certifications do they have? And as we can see here, Notion is ISO 27001 compliant and certified, which is really good to hear, which essentially means they are externally audited on a regular basis and have a huge list of controls and other items that they have to do that is kind of externally verified by an independent auditor and that they have essentially passed this. This is an ongoing requirement and ISO 27001 is internationally recognized it's not specific to one part of the world or one region and this provides a very strong level of assurance now not only that they do also have ISO 27701 which is different from ISO 27001 27001 looks at information security requirements so that is like technical and non-technical controls around their systems their infrastructure their processes and a bunch of other things however 27701 often referred to as PIMS is actually a privacy certification which focuses on data privacy so this would demonstrate compliance with GDPR a bunch of other data protection laws around the world but generally it's just focus on protecting data and data flows data mapping data registers etc etc so this again provides another very high level of assurance we know from this that they have a management system dedicated to data privacy alone and since notion is a cloud service it only makes sense that they actually have ISO 27017 which is focused on cloud services so this is like security controls for cloud services. They also have another certification, ISO 27018, which is focused on protecting personally identifiable information in public cloud environments. Already, we are seeing a high level of assurance around their security controls. And just to top it all off, they also have a SOC 2 Type 2 audit. And a SOC 2 Type 2 is slightly different. It is based on the trust services criteria. It's primarily used in a 
America, but also in other places around the world. But generally, American institutions and companies require this as their accepted level of assurance. And a type two just means that they're essentially audited on a continuing basis. You know, the, the evidence and the documents that the auditor will look at does not stop at any point during the year. It's a continual program. You do have some slight variations in how this can be done, but if you want more information on SOC reporting, I have got a video on that, so check that out. And lastly, they seem to be HIPAA compliant, and HIPAA is focused on health information or personal health information, and it's primarily a US federal law, so this gives a very high level of assurance to health institutions within the US and other parts of the world, as it is quite globally recognized and accepted, that they handle health data with the appropriate level of controls. So this is a quick summary of their kind of compliance and from this we already see a very high level of assurance because they are externally audited on a regular basis and they have six different standards or certifications or reports whatever you want to call them that we are aware of at this stage that they are compliant with. So if I was a company assessing Notion for my use internally the next step I would take is to request the certificates for these and review them and also the SOC 2 type 2 report primarily for the certificates you're just looking at the scope the dates just making sure everything lines up you know some organizations might advertise themselves as compliant with one of these standards but then when you actually look at the scope it only applies to a very small part of their organization and means they're not really taking things very seriously across the whole organization and with a SOC 2 type 2 what you're going to be looking at that is it's just a report it's not necessarily a pass or fail you're going to be looking to see what type of report it is is it qualified unqualified adverse disclaimer and also looking for exceptions that have been noted by the auditor and for HIPAA I will be honest and say I'm primarily based out of the UK so I'm not too familiar with the HIPAA regulations but I assume it'd be a very similar process of reviewing their compliance there's possibly some sort of report a certificate or something you would need to validate that but however here in the UK the NHS regulations are completely different to the US ones so yeah when I see HIPAA I know it's a good thing but having never done a HIPAA audit myself or being an implementer and helped an organization be compliant with HIPAA I don't really know the ins and outs and then the rest of the security and privacy page just gives you the high level things they do around security and none of this really has any kind of material weight this is just value add they say they do things and they're giving you a little bit of information but primarily this alone isn't a very high level of assurance this is just something that looks good when marketing on their website however it is good to read some of this because as you can see here under reliability they say they partner with AWS and Cloudflare to build world-class architecture and to ensure that Notion is built for maximum business resilience now the key thing here is AWS and Cloudflare you immediately know some information about their vendors and who they use for cloud services so this is actually quite an insightful piece of information another important bit here is you've got the 99.9 percent .9 of guaranteed uptime of course this isn't contractual yet but if they're advertising this on their website then that's a good indication and gives you an idea of their availability if you're thinking of the cia triad now if we dive deep into their security practices page now this is actually a very informative page and i would say that most companies kind of stop at the first page where they talk about the compliance at a high level they give some information about what they do about security their audits etc but here they seem to have taken it a step further they've split up data security application security security profile etc into different sections and they talk briefly about some of the things they do at that level so if you're really worried about data erasure you know if you ever decided to leave notion you've got some information here about the process what you're responsible for what they're responsible for and also links to more information on their privacy policy and data processing addendum encryption is obviously going to be a big concern for a lot of people with security but here you know they use aes 256 encryption for data at rest and they do use transport layer security of 1.2 or greater which again is aes 256 encrypted so that gives you a lot of assurance knowing that your data is encrypted at rest and in transport and another great thing which is what they do here which a lot of companies don't do and typically you kind of have to ask a lot of questions and get to this level of detail is they talk about their physical security at their data
data centers. Now, if you notice here, they obviously use AWS to host their application. And one of the amazing things here is they actually demonstrating some of their shared responsibility in terms of security. What they're basically saying here is Notion is not responsible for physical security of any servers or racks or data centers or anything like that. However, because we use Amazon Web Services and they basically are responsible for the physical security. And here's a link to read about what AWS does regarding security. And if you click the link, it talks about AWS, how they take care of physical access, monitoring and logging, surveillance, CCTV, blah, blah, blah. Essentially, this gives you information on the physical security of where your data will actually be sitting. So on those specific servers, you quickly get an understanding of who's responsible for the physical security and what those controls are. Now, of course, Notion dives deep into application security and a bunch of other things and etc. etc. And what you would do if you was reviewing their security is one, you'd read every single bit of this in detail just to get an understanding. Another quite cool thing here is I've got a section here around third party dependence. And then it says here, please see a list of our sub processes. And it's got a whole list of companies they rely on to process their data or our sub processes, which is very detailed to give you the full understanding of the full supply chain within Notion, who they're dependent on, who their processes are. Because one of these companies can have an issue and it could directly affect the Notion service. For example, it seems they're pretty dependent on Cloudflare for content distribution, security, and a bunch of other things. So I think if Cloudflare went down and had huge issues, then of course that would impact Notion and thousands of other companies as Cloudflare is a huge company. You can see here, they also use OpenAI. And I assume this is for the Notion AI service, which is actually really good. I've used Notion AI quite a lot and it really does help streamline a lot of different things. So as you can see, Notion has a lot of information about what they do regarding security and data privacy and a bunch of other things. Now the question being, is Notion secure and safe to use? It's quite straightforward to me. I would say yes, that is completely fine. However, there is a caveat here because if you are a very huge multi-billion pound organization or if you process data that is very confidential and very sensitive then this level of security might not be enough for some of those organizations depending on their internal requirements some organizations require that their vendors have a huge level of security and just to give you an example that makes it simpler to understand i don't think coca-cola or kfc would upload their secret ingredients to their restaurant recipes just out there on Notion to use. Those things are typically locked behind a vault behind a vault with guards and monitors and blah, blah, blah. Or if it is online, they have a lot of security controls based on defense in depth principles where essentially you have a layer and layer and another layer of security, which Notion does have to some extent, to be fair. I don't think they could confidently provide that level of assurance for those kind of trade secrets and patents. And it's not because Notion isn't secure, that kind of data is typically not trusted on cloud services such as Notion. However, would a hospital trust their health information on there? Almost definitely. I'm sure Notion has a lot of clients that are hospitals because they have the HIPAA certificate. And how an assessment like this normally would work is you could ask Notion a ton of questions, answer this big questionnaire about security, what you do. This could be a hospital asking a private organization or anyone else, but what you tend to find is bigger companies like Notion, like Microsoft, like Amazon don't really answer a lot of questionnaires. I mean, some still do, or they might have a team directly dedicated to this. But when a company is so public with their security, that's typically an indication that they behave like these big tech companies do and basically say, we're not going to waste our time or our resources answering questions that are available on our website. Look at our website. That tells you how secure we are. They have a standard level of assurance so if you're potentially becoming a client, what they'll do is they'll send you a package or a folder of like their certificates, their assurance, extra information, you know, now that you're a paying client. And that's kind of where they stop. And you can use that information to answer your own questionnaires and get that own level of assurance internally. But yeah, I'm sure Notion and Microsoft and Amazon still do answer some questionnaires for huge deals and huge amounts of money, which they typically still do. But I think for smaller business deals, they probably 
wouldn't waste time answering questions, hence why they have so much public information about security. So Notion is relatively secure. Of course, it's not 100%. No company could ever be 100% secure. I'm sure there's still ways to get in and I'm sure there's still the next level of maturity they're trying to work towards. However, I think for everyday use on a personal level, on a business level, I would personally rank them with a high level of security and assurance because they have so many compliance certifications and audits and wouldn't really ask anything else personally because looking at their website you've already got enough security information to get an understanding of what they do in terms of security the only thing I would do personally from a supply chain risk perspective is validate their certificates and validate that everything they say is actually true but on a personal level I use Notion every day I trust it I'm not going to ask them questions I think they've got a great security team and seem to be doing a lot in the security space so yeah I definitely say Notion is very secure compared to a lot of other organizations. They're very transparent in what they do in terms of security. So from this cybersecurity consultant's perspective, Notion is safe to use, but of course exercise caution and understand your responsibility in terms of security. If you're giving access out to a lot of people that shouldn't have access, then it's not really Notion's fault something's gone wrong. And this is a shared responsibility model where the end user is responsible for a certain point portion of the security, primarily around access with cloud services. Then you've got the actual company, Notion, responsible for a huge heap of things. Then you've got Amazon Web Services responsible for another portion. Then you have the other sub-processors and suppliers and vendors responsible for other things. I've actually created a Notion page that has a ton of GRC and cybersecurity resources, which I will link in the description. It's completely free, so check it out. And if you're a company or a user and you're thinking about using using Notion and please sign up with my link below as it will really help out the channel. I am a Notion partner and do get a little kickback if you sign up through my link on one of the paid programs. So please support this channel so I can make more videos and more content like this for you. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Over and out. I will see you in the next one.